As we know, expanding globally is a growing priority for a lot of businesses, but with increasing investment in AI, leaders are becoming pretty blindsided when it comes to seamless connectivity across international borders. For more, we're joined by Tim Sullivan from CoEvolve. Good to see you, Tim. Uh, what prompted you, I guess, to do this deep dive into global co connectivity and what were the key findings? Yeah, thanks, Aaron. Well, we're a global business ourselves, so we've got our own team spread across four continents globally, and we're supporting the uh, secure network connections for enterprises in 82 countries globally. So it's a fascinating vantage point that we have, and we see that there's uh, a lot of opportunity, but also a lot of risk that uh, leaders are not necessarily contemplating uh, in today's uh, you know, fast-paced business environment. Yeah, very much so. What are the challenges that they are coming back with? What are leaders facing at the moment? Yeah, so our research shows, and we did uh, really in-depth quant qualitative interviews as well as uh, quali quantitative uh, research and surveys. And uh, the report found that the critical digital foundation that's required for all automation and AI enablement is actually being overlooked. Um, the research found that there's a lot of emphasis on compliance, right? there's a lot of emphasis on new technology innovation uh, and security, uh, but that really uh, whilst those challenges are keeping the enterprise leaders awake at night, there's a, a bit of a paradox emerging where the digital infrastructure that underpins all of those themes is actually uh, being taken for granted. Uh, it's been assumed that the network connectivity of the last decade is going to continue to meet business needs, but in actual fact, this is not the case. So what exactly is changing? Yeah, so a couple of things. So not only do those security and compliance uh, re requirements get ever more complex uh, and move so quickly, uh, increased regulatory burden and, and the like, um, we find that, rightly so, there's a huge amount of attention and investment going into AI. It is a massive opportunity that uh, enterprises should be able to uh, you know, achieve real step change improvements in their business. But as they continue to expand products and markets globally, the business connectivity that underpins that uh, is being neglected. And we actually feel that whilst 45% of investment from the research is geared towards these AI enablement projects, um, literally only about 8% is being dedicated to the network architecture and that secure connectivity. And as some of these major themes all collide, not just of AI growth and opportunities, but also network and security technologies converging, there's a real gap in how business connectivity is being delivered globally. It varies enormously from region to region, country to country. So really, we'd call on leaders to reassess their understanding of that underpinning business connectivity uh, to make sure they're making the most of those other critical investments. So what technologies are leaders investing in at the moment to support the global expansion plans? You mentioned AI, that of course is just one part of it, but a big part. It is indeed, and uh, I've got some stats here. The, about 70% of the respondents are absolutely looking at global expansion, and it breaks down, and I'll flag some of the survey respondents for you here. About 54% of the respondents were looking at new markets uh, to address growth opportunities, 24% new products, 10% new employees and partners in different parts of the world, 5% still very much focused on mergers and acquisition, and 7% concerned about um, the changes in the uh, global economic and trading climate. And we see with all the trade war discussions, there's a lot of uncertainty uh, that accompanies or is going alongside this massive investment in AI. So really, um, other technologies, 33% uh, of the investment is going towards cloud, a lot going towards security and compliance. But I think what's being underappreciated is, is that there's a fundamental change in the traffic that's going across these global networks. So the secure global business connectivity needs to uh, be able to support in a really robust way the um, the fundamental change in global traffic patterns. We saw all of those traffic patterns turned on their head about 10, 15 years ago as businesses first started to adopt cloud. And now with AI projects, there's both firstly a massive change in the profile of that traffic being uh, distributed globally. 
Uh, and then secondly, the AI tools are proliferating and even other means of connecting via plugins and the like. There's a real emerging problem of shadow AI where there's a lack of visibility and control of, of, these, uh, of these new AI initiatives, which then of course is creating other compliance and regulatory uh, uh, issues. Last question, we don't have much time, but how do you see the data demands increasing? Oh, they keep continue to mushroom. So there's no doubt that they will continue to explode. Uh, but as I say, you know, it won't just be one-way traffic you know, to a central destination. There'll be increasing IoT applications and processing at the edge. So the destination of all of these AI initiatives, which are you know, really a myriad of opportunities already and enterprise are just scratching the surface as to what's possible. All right. um, so really we'd call on people to reassess that uh, environment, that business connectivity, look at it globally, but also locally to come up with the best strategy. All right, Tim Sullivan from Covolve, really appreciate your time, thank you. Thanks, Aaron.